Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you see anything different? Yes, the dark hair is back. You guys know I had to go back to the dark side. Like the highlights were fun, but I feel like the black hair is just me. So I'm very happy with it. But I'm also really excited because today we're gonna be trying out House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's new makeup line. Well, it's not new. She's had her makeup line for a while, but she recently launched a new foundation and I was at Sephora and I was like, this is the perfect chance for me to try this out as well as some other goodies from her line because I've never tried anything from her line, but I've heard really good things. So definitely grab a snack, get cozy and Let's get into it. So I already did my brows and primed my eyelids. I just used the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm gonna start off with the lip oil. And this one is the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil and this was the only color that they had. But I'm gonna put it on now just to like hydrate my lips throughout the video because I do have some other lip products that we're gonna try on later on. But mm, it doesn't smell like anything. But I like the little doe foot applicator. Ooh, I love the applicator. I love that little tint that it added to my lips. Like they were so like pale and this just gave it kind of like a boost of shine, but also a boost of color, which I really like. That's beautiful. And it's super creamy. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. Now for the eyes, I got these high power pigment paints. I got a black one and then I got a rose gold shimmer. And we're gonna try both of these out. So I'm gonna use the black for liner and then this color is gonna go all over the lid. But I'm gonna add a little transition in the crease. So I'm gonna go in with the, where is it right here? Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. And I got this one in medium level five. When I was in Sephora, the Sephora employee told me that these do run kind of light like they're really buttery and soft she said but when you apply the color she said it does come off really light on the skin so she recommended me to go up a shade i was looking at the shade three or four and she recommended this one so the packaging is so beautiful by the way on all of her stuff i really like it pretty definitely i can see what she means like it runs a little bit lighter because this is a pretty dark bronzer but the pigment is there though Feels super smooth, even building it up and just applying the color. Hmm, okay, this is nice. I really like that lip oil, by the way, you guys. Like, that feels really good on the lips. Okay, now I'm excited about these eye paints. Apparently, they're super intense and pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna start with the Rose Gold Shimmer. And I'm just gonna put that like literally the tiniest bit on the back of my hand. Oh wow, that is so beautiful. That is like so stunning. Oh wow, I'm definitely gonna need more colors. I love how smooth this product is and it's not messy. There's no fallout, like you know, like there's no like loose glitter or anything, but it gives you such a beautiful like metallic finish. I am in love with this. It's not really glittery also. It's more of just like a metallic finish, which is really, really pretty. Now we're gonna go in with the black paint and I'm gonna do a little winged liner. I might do some graphic liner today because the eyes are gonna be super simple. So I think I might do that actually. And I feel like I should apply my e.l.f. eye tapes just to like, yeah, hold on. Wow, I'm really happy with these paints. I'm excited to try this black one out too. So I'm just gonna put these right here. I'm pretty sure these are discontinued, which makes me so sad because I love these. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. That is so dark. Okay, that was easy. Like what? That was so easy. Wow. Are you guys seeing how this product just glides on? That is like the easiest wing I've ever done in my life. And like the pigment, the formula, it is so smooth. Like the liner just glides on. I didn't even use all of the product, by the way, so you pretty much need less than what I used. Like, a tiny dot will go such a long way. I'm gonna put on some mascara and lashes. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Act Natural. This is one of my favorites. And then another favorite are these lashes, the AOA Studio in the style Alexis. You can get these on Shop Miss A's website or Amazon. I will link them. They're on my storefront, and they are my favorite go-to lashes. So I am gonna prime my face, and I'm just gonna use the Smashbox Primerizer, because the brand doesn't carry everything for a full face, and 
this primer is one of my favorite like universal primers that I feel like works with a lot of my foundations. So this is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation and I got the color 220 Light Medium Warm. Packaging is stunning. I love this frosted glass. It comes with a pump, which is really nice. I feel like most foundations nowadays come with a pump. So this says it is a clean long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. It's infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, buildable, medium coverage, luminous, second skin finish, ultra fluid, weightless formula. I did get her foundation brush. This is what it looks like. I feel like this would be really good for cream products as well, like cream contour, even blush. It's super dense, but I think the color is going to be perfect, hopefully. I'm gonna like stipple it in. Doesn't really have a fragrance to it, which is great. I feel like none of her products do. It is pretty runny, the foundation, but it feels definitely like second skin. Very like natural medium coverage. It's pretty. The color, I think, I don't know, is it a good shade or is it a little bit too light? So I think the finish is beautiful. It's not too luminous. It's very like natural almost to me. It doesn't feel super dewy. It's definitely not matte. And I love how easily it blends into the skin. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to see how it does build up. Cause I don't think this is like super intense coverage. It's like more everyday coverage, but it really is like another layer of skin. I think it's pretty. I don't really feel like you need the brush. It's a nice brush, but you don't need it. You can definitely like use your favorite foundation brush. Yeah, it is very skin-like. It doesn't look like foundation-y, you know, like makeup-y, like, like the product doesn't look like it's like sitting on top of my skin. It looks like it's kind of just like being melted in my skin and it looks like Still my skin, but with coverage. I see a little bit more of that luminosity also peeking through as I build up the foundation, but it's still subtle. It doesn't feel like oily or anything. So this is the foundation right now. You can see it's a little bit luminous, but it doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel excessively dewy. And it definitely covered up, but it still looks like my skin. Like I don't feel like it looks too makeup-y. I could probably blend it out a little bit better on my forehead, but I think it looks really good. Unfortunately, there is no concealer from House Labs, but that would have been pretty iconic. I'm assuming it's coming though, because she does have a powder, so hopefully in the future, but I'm just gonna go in with my Dominique Cosmetics concealer. This is the Wide Awake Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. I cannot wait to try the powder. I haven't tried, I feel like, a loose powder, like a, a new one in a while. This brush, by the way, is the Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush. All right, now let's go in with the powder. This is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and I picked up the color Translucent. And this is what the packaging looks like, which I actually really like, because then you don't get too much product coming out. And I'm gonna apply this with my little triangle puffs. These are from Amazon. Did you just see that? I have to show you on my phone. Look at that difference so smooth and like it almost looks a little bit brighter but it doesn't even look like i put powder on like when i put it on the powder puff it was so lightweight like it, it just blurred the skin but set it so nicely see how it's like blurring but like it doesn't even <laughs> look like there's powder on the puff Okay, I'm in love with it. I think it looks really good. I'm definitely gonna take a photo with flash and see how it looks, but wow. Very impressed with it. I mean, I guess it also saves you from using an excess amount of product, like having the little netted packaging like this. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. This is again the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in shade Medium Level 5. This packaging is really, really luxe, by the way. Like it's it's nice. And I'm gonna use this little brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, it's the Weekend Vibes collection. It's just a little like bronzer brush. I see what the girl means by like, it's not a super, I don't want to say it's not pigmented, but it's very soft, the color that you get on your cheeks, which is actually a good thing because bronzer, I guess it's good that it's not super intensely pigmented because that's when it can look muddy. So I'm actually glad that I did get this color. I think it's nice. It's a nice shade. It's warm and it is smooth and I like the undertone to it too. 
Ooh, that looks good. Okay, love. Now the highlighter. This is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. And this packaging is like a pearl. Like it's reminding me of like a mermaid, like mermaid vibes, but look at this highlighter. The employee, she convinced me to get the shade Sunstone. When I swatched it, I was like, okay, done. Look at that. It's like wet, but not glittery. And I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush really quick. This one is the Juvia's Place Volume 4 Blush Duo, and I'm gonna use this Cotton Candy Pink. And this brush is from BH Cosmetics. It was from a limited edition brush set from the Nazanin Kavari brush set. I love it. But it's just an angled brush. It kind of just looks like fanned out like this because I use it all the time, but I just wanted to add a little bit of blush to give my cheeks some life. Now we're going to go in with the highlighter. Okay, she's intense. But very smooth. That's pretty. It's smooth. I feel like all of her products are just silky. Like, they're not powdery at all. Like, there isn't even kickback as I apply or dip my brush in here. Like, there's no powder flying everywhere. The lip oil, by the way, still, like, my lips feel really soft still. So it has, like, faded. But it does give your lips a little bit of a tint, which I like. It, like, brought my lips to life because sometimes they look so pale and, like, muted. Now we're going to do a pink lip. I have two different lip products actually here to try out. I don't know which one I want to do. I'm going to try both. This one is the Le Monster Lip Crown 2.0 in the shade Mauve Matte. It's, like, a pretty pinky mauve. I'm going to just go in with this without any lip liner or anything so we can see the color. That's so pretty and like with the pink cheek, very comfortable. Matte, but still doesn't feel drying on the lips. And then the other thing that I got is the Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer. I believe this is one of those lip lacquers that looks like glossy, but like it doesn't transfer, it doesn't come off. And this one I got in the color Rosewood Shine. Also like a pinky mauve nude. I don't wanna take this color off though because it's so beautiful. Doesn't seem to be fully transfer proof, which it doesn't say that it is, but I'm still obsessed with this color. And if you add a lip liner, it'll just like enhance it even more. I don't wanna take this off, it's so pretty. This is definitely like fall vibes. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit or see like how it dries down and then we'll see if it's transfer proof. The only other thing that I have from her is a new eyeliner. I'm trying to find it, here it is. So I picked up the Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner in the shade Deep Cocoa Matte and I'm gonna line my waterline with this. She also did have a brow pencil, but you guys know I'm so loyal to my brow products and like I just didn't feel like I needed the brow pencil. The eyeliner is okay. I mean, it is showing up, but you do have to run it over your waterline a couple times. So this is what the color looks like. I'm not crazy about it, like the color specifically on me. It's a nice shade for fall, but maybe I need to like amp it up with lip liner. I don't know. You can still see there is some shine to this product, but now let's see if it'll be transfer proof. That's insane. I want to try out more colors. Wow. I feel like this would look better on me too if I added a lip liner. And maybe that's what I need. Hold on. I'm going to use the NYX Line Loud lip liner. And this one is in Magic Maker. Okay, wait. I think I like this now. I swear, like, lip liner makes everything better. So if you don't think you like your lip color, add a lip liner. The only other thing that I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of the highlighter right to my inner corners. I'm also gonna set my eyebrows and I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray as well. And then this makeup look is complete. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think the liner definitely helped with the lip color also. And to set the makeup, I'm just gonna use Milani Make It Last. Fresh bottle here, this is my favorite setting spray and it's another like good universal spray that I feel like works with like everything. So I just took a little bit of a break, charged my camera, and it's been about 45 minutes. I did also eat something. I had some juice and some water, and the lip color is still going strong. It's in place. Nothing has moved. So first, these are the two things that I feel like you don't really need from her line, starting off with the brush. It's a nice brush, but I'm sure you all have your favorite foundation brushes that I feel like would work great with this foundation. The foundation is really good, and I don't feel like you need the brush 
to make the foundation work. Nice brush, but not necessary. I also don't really love the eyeliner. I thought it was okay. The formula, it wasn't as creamy or pigmented as I typically like in a liner. Products that I do think you need, these eye paints. I am definitely gonna be getting more shades. I love everything about these, the formula, the colors. They were so easy to work with. There's no mess with them. And especially the eyeliner, like this is not coming off. Like as I rub my finger on the liner, it's like transfer and smudge proof. I also really love this rose gold shade. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna be getting more colors. This is a great formula. Very impressed also with the foundation and powder combo. I think this is so beautiful. The foundation is really like second skin, but it does enhance your skin and give you some coverage. So it's not totally light. It looks like your skin. So I'm really happy with this product. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this throughout the day and I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how it looks. The powder is also like not powdery at all, but some Somehow it still sets your makeup and like blurs your skin. I also did take a photo with flash, which I'll show you guys. I took it on this side of my beauty room away from my studio lights and there's no white cast. So I definitely passed the flash test just to show you like that looks so good. So the powder, double thumbs up. The bronzer, I love how it's not extremely pigmented right off the bat. Like I like how you can build it up and it blends really easily into the skin. It's not muddy. I love the packaging. I love this color. It's a really good, nice formula. And then the highlighter I thought was really nice. So it was pretty like intense when you first applied it, but I do find that when you blend it out, it still is like such a soft, pretty glow. You could definitely build this up though if you want it to be more intense. I love that it's not powdery because I don't really honestly wear a ton of highlighter anymore. So whenever I do, I keep it really light and soft. And I feel like this is a beautiful kind of like intense highlighter, but still also really soft and pretty. The formula is really nice. No kickback. I like it. And like I said, I'm not really into a ton of highlighter anymore, but I like this formula a lot in the way it looks on the skin. And last but not least, the lip products. I really liked all of the lip products, especially the lip oil. This is a true lip oil because I feel like a lot of lip oils nowadays, they feel just like a regular like sticky gloss, but this is actually really smooth and hydrating. Love this formula. The lip crown, I know I only really used it for like a little bit, but I loved this color. I'm going to keep testing this out, but I do really like the way it applied and the shades that they had were beautiful. But I feel like if you're going to splurge, I would say, I mean, the lip oil is a great splurge, but also this lip lacquer is such a good splurge item. I mean, this is so long wearing. I'm definitely gonna get more colors. I wasn't crazy about this shade at first, but when I added the lip liner, I feel like it really came together. I just love how it's pigmented and it's so shiny, but like there's no transfer. Like I've never used a product like that. I know I actually think NYX had something like that that they launched last year, but I wasn't crazy about that formula. So yeah, I need these in every color. I think this is gonna be like a staple for like the fall and winter this year. So I'm gonna come back in a few hours and I'll check in with you guys and I'll let you know how everything looks. Hi guys, I'm back. I started doing my makeup around like noon, so it's been about like eight hours or so since I've had all of this makeup on my face. And you guys, I am like shocked right now. I have not touched up. I have not reapplied my lip color. I just got done working out and I ate dinner and the makeup is still in place. Nothing has moved. You can see the eye paints are still on my eyes. The lip color, it's faded like a little bit, but like come on that is like insane like i ate dinner i worked out like what you can still see the other products my cheek products there i am you know shiny because i was sweating i was actually just dripping sweat i was like patting with a napkin to be honest my opinions about the brand still stand true from earlier i think everything is beautiful the foundation the bronzer i really like the powder i will say it is not a mattifying powder so if that's what you're looking for this is not matte it has more of a natural finish i personally really like it it's really pretty on the skin super smooth not drying at all i really love the highlighter but especially this lip lacquer i think that is what i'm most impressed with out of everything i also I also wanted to mention that the foundation has not even like faded around my nose like which is typically a big problem area for me like normally foundation just separates in this area like crazy I mean it did come off a little bit right here like I said I was working out I was sweating I was patting my face but like I still think it looks so good these eye paints are incredible I definitely want to get more shades the lip color like insane so i'm really excited to continue using this brand and also getting different shades in some of these products because like the quality is beyond amazing but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it was helpful let me know your thoughts down below on the brand if you have tried anything thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and i will see you very soon in my next video bye